In this question, we have a temperature time graph for a substance, and we have to decide what can be determined from this graph. Let's start by analyzing the graph that I have drawn below. So the first increasing section of this graph shows the liquid stage of this graph, and it also shows that the substance is heating up. In the second horizontal stage, the substance is undergoing a phase change. It is changing from liquid to gas. In other words, it's vaporizing. In a third stage, the substance is in gas form and its temperature is increasing. Next, let's look at the definition of specific heat capacity that I wrote down here. Well, it is the energy required to raise the temperature of a substance per unit of mass. In other words, the more energy needed to raise the temperature of a substance, the higher its specific heat capacity is. The specific latent heat of fusion of a substance is relevant during the phase when the substance is changing from solid to liquid. Since this graph doesn't show any information about this phase, we can automatically eliminate answers C and D. Let's go back to the graph then and see what a steeper gradient means. Well, a steeper gradient means that the temperature is increasing quicker as energy is supplied to the substance. In other words, less energy is needed to raise the temperature of the substance. Looking at the definition of specific heat capacity, we can deduce then that a steeper gradient means smaller specific heat capacity. Since in our graph the liquid stage has a steeper gradient than the gas stage, we can deduce that Cg, the specific heat capacity of gas, is larger than Cl, the specific heat capacity of the liquid. This means that the answer to this question is B.